Hello traders, in this short video we're gonna teach you how to automate TradingView indicator script or TradingView strategy script. By the end of this tutorial you will know what is the difference between both of those and how to automate both of them using Wunder Trading. So let's get into it. So before we automate anything, let's just make a clear distinction between the strategy script and the indicator script in TradingView. An indicator script is used for visualization. It plots lines, shapes and other visual elements on the chart to provide signals or analysis. It does not execute trades automatically. Here is an example of a simple move and average indicator in PineScript. The script plots a 20 period simple move and average on the chart, but it does not execute trades. A strategy script, on the other hand, can execute buy and sell orders automatically. It includes built-in functions to enter and exit trades. Here is an example of a simple move and average crossover strategy. The strategy script that you can see in front of you will automatically enter the long position when the short SMA crosses above the long SMA and exits when it crosses below. Ok guys, now that we know the difference between the indicator script and the strategy script, let's start our first bot. And we're going to do this for the indicator for which we do not have any code. That's why we won't put anything into the code itself. So what you can see in front of you now is that two things that we'll require. On the left hand side there is a Wunder Trading account and on the right hand side is going to be a trading view. So let's go to the Wunder Trading account first and create the bot. To do that, first thing you need to go to the menu select the signal bot and if you do not have any bots and this is going to be your very first bot this is how your screen will look like. So click create the bot button. You will see the form to create a signal bot. Let's give it a name, let's call it test. I will use my demo account which I previously connected in my exchange tab. Select the API for this one and the pair and we will choose BTC USDT as this is a very typical example for what people are looking for. Then we will simplify the rest and we'll be just using the market as an entry. The amount per trade will be, let's put it for 200. And now I will just switch on the take profit and a stop loss target. So if my position will reach 0.5% I will exit the trade and as, a, as an example I will put exactly the same for the stop loss. Ok, so let's now create the bot. Before the creation process is completed it will tell you that now it's time to create the signal from your source. So where the signals for your bot is going to be coming from? In our case it's going to be trading view. So let's go to trading view and select the indicator. I will choose a very simple one, something like RSI. We're going to just add it to the chart and we're not going to go inside of the code of the RSI. So we're trying to simulate how to automate, how to create a bot if you have an indicator for which you do not have the code. In order to do that, we're just going to select the create alert button then we're going to select the condition and it's going to be based on the RSI and we're going to trigger it when the RSI is crossing up the value of 30. What that means is that we're going to look for the oversold region and once it is reached and the indicator is crossing this value from the bottom up, we're going to enter long. The trigger for the alert condition, I'll put it once per bar because I want to make sure that the bar is going to be completed once the RSI indicator is crossing the value of 30. And then in the message box, I will actually input my enter long comment because the alert that I'm currently setting is for the entry long. For that, I will select the enter long from Wunder Trading and just copy and paste it over here. Another thing that you must do is to 
go to notifications and input the webhook. The webhook is also available in the alert settings over here. And this is important because this is the webhook where we send in the alert from TradingView. So let's just check this and click create. You can see that the alert appeared on the right hand side in TradingView alert log. And at the same time, we can also see that it is currently visible as a dashed line on our RSI indicator. And if you hover over this dashed line, you will see what is the comment that will be triggered, what is the message that would be triggered when the alert is fired. So now the alert is set and we're gonna wait for it. To complete the creation of the bot on the left hand side, we just confirm that I have set my alerts in TradingView. Yeah, bot successfully created. And you have two options here. Either you can enter the position now in either long or short direction. So this is option number one. Or you can actually wait for the signal to come in. You can see that the bot has been created. It's active and it's gonna wait for the signal to trigger. Okay guys, let's now move on to the automation of the TradingView indicator if you do have a code for it. For this, we're gonna use exactly the same RSI indicator which we added in the previous part. So let's get to it. First thing first is I want to open the code of this RSI indicator. And as you can see, there is uh, quite a lot of written down over here. In order to start working with the code, you can create a working copy. And this will allow you to edit the code. Right at the bottom of this particular code that we uh, inputted from the TradingView library, you already have the alert condition. You can write them from scratch into any indicator. So let's have a look how the alert condition actually works. So when you type in the alert condition, first thing you need to do is to specify the condition itself. So uh, when will this be triggered? What is the condition for the alert to be triggered? Then you have to just name the title of the alert and pass the actual message, which will be passed once the alert is triggered. The benefit of using the alert condition is that you can be more creative in terms of the actual condition that will trigger it. So based on this RSI, we can see that there is some bull condition uh, which is gonna be uh, triggering and you can see in the code where it's actually applied. Just to simplify it for you at this moment, this alert conditions are currently looking into the bullish and bearish divergences. So in order to see this, we'll need to switch this on in the actual script. So now you can see on the graph where the bullish and bearish conditions occur. And based on these conditions, we're gonna enter either long or enter short. So let's see. When the bull condition is met, we're gonna enter long. So we will change the title slightly here to make it more comfortable for us to use. Enter long. And in this message field, you should put the entry comment from your wounded trading bot. So let's go back to the bot, go to the alerts, and we just input the enter long comment here. So we just gonna paste it over here. We're gonna do exactly the same for the second alert condition, which will be our trigger for entering short. And this is how we're gonna name it. And then in the message field, we're gonna put the enter short function. So over here, just replace this with your enter short condition. Okay, now we need to add it to the chart because we started to edit the new script, it will be added as a new indicator at the bottom. So we'll just can hide this one. Okay, we don't need the code anymore. Uh, let's now go through exactly the same process of setting up the alert because we still need this alert to be triggered in order to pass the information into the wounded trading bot. So let's go to the alert. And now in the price, we're going to select our second RSI, which is the one that we created. And you can see straight away that those are the alert conditions 
that was specified either end to long or end to short. If we select end to long and we select that it's going to be once per bar, for example, you can see straight away that in the message box, it's going to put the comment that you inserted inside your code. Don't forget to check that the webhook is correct. And then you can hit the create button. And you need to do exactly the same for the short condition. So once again, we're going to select the RSI indicator, select the enter short condition alert once per bar. And once again, the comment is already inside of the message box. Let's check that the webhook is still the same and it's all correct. And now create another one. Now we're all ready to go. So as soon as the alert will be triggered, it's going to send this message to Wounded Trading and the Wounded Trading Bot will execute the trade for you. Okay, guys, let's now go to our final part where we're automating the trading view strategy. If you do not have your own trading view strategy at the moment yet, you can still use some free strategies from the trading view library. So let's have a look. We'll just type in the RSI strategy as an example. Yeah, and you can here see it straight away. As soon as we apply it to the chart, you can also see the difference between the indicator and the strategy scripts. The strategy script will actually execute the trades on the graph in history and will provide you the backtest based on your strategy. In order to see the code, you can also go into the code parameters and you can see that this particular code is very simple and straightforward. Basically, this code is looking for the oversold and overbought regions. And when the RSI indicator is crossing over, crossing under those regions, you will be either entering long or short. The actual part which is different here is the strategy entry function, which is available only for the strategy scripts. So basically here you write the title of your long trades, the direction and the comment. And in the comment part, this is the place where your comment from Wounded Trading Bot will be placed. So let's create a working copy of this script. Now let's go to the Wounded Trading Bot and look at the comments and insert them in the correct places. So for the long strategy, I'm going to put the end to long. For the short strategy, I'm going to put the end to short condition. Here, it's only two comments because this strategy is working as a swing strategy, which means that it should always be in the market. So for example, when you have the long condition, the long trade will be open. As soon as you receive the short condition alert, the long will be closed automatically and it will open the trade in the short direction. So let's apply this to the chart. As soon as you apply it to the chart, you can see that the backtest didn't change. It's exactly the same. The only thing which changed is that now, every time when the alert is triggered, when the strategy enters either long or short direction, it will provide you with the correct comments that you just inserted from your wounded trading bot. Okay, now let's move to the part which is slightly different in comparison to the indicator scripts, how to create an alert in this. The thing you need to do, you can also go to the uh, create alert uh, button and then select the RSI strategy. And over here in the message, you need to input the alert message from your Wunder trading bot, this one. Basically what it does, it will automatically look into the script that you have for the strategy and will automatically apply either entry long comment or entry short comment, depending at the stage of your bot on trading view. After that, you just need to check that the webhook is correct. And then you can create the alert. And that's it. This is another benefit of using the strategy script. You do not need to create several alerts for different conditions. You can just use one single alert and it will automatically insert the correct comment for you. Okay, so let's consider what to do if you do not have the code for the strategy. For example, it is the close code. 
then it's going to be slightly complicated to automate such a strategy. If you do not have the actual code, there are some strategies which allow users to input the comments in the input sections of the bot. Let me show you one of the examples of such a strategy. This is a Wunder DCA bot that we created for you. And this is just for the sake of the example. So when you go into the settings of this particular strategy, you would be able to see right at the end that we allow you to input the settings of your comments over here and they will be automatically passed. So in this case, you don't even need the code itself. So if you have the closed code, you got it from someone on TradingView, you can ask the developer to add those things in order to start an, the automation process and automate it with Wonder Trading. Okay, guys, I think that's it for today. Have a great day and best of luck with your trading.